Assassin's Creed Syndicate is the first big title coming out of Ubisoft Quebec, so that's a lot of pressure to create something new, especially with Assassin's Creed, because we've seen a lot of Assassin's Creed so far as gamers. So what is different about this Assassin's Creed? I like to say that the Assassin's Creed Syndicate is the first modern Assassin's Creed. So in that sense, we explore a London of 1868. It's in the Industrial Revolution. It's the first time that we'll see vehicles on the street. We'll use different tools, such as the rope launcher, to go on top of buildings. There's a lot happening in the 18th century, a lot of bad stuff going down, particularly for the working class. So how is that relating to the assassins that we're playing as? Yeah, so you'll be playing Jacob and Evie, so twins that will get into London of 1868, and their job or their quest as assassin is going to free up London. So they will take boroughs by boroughs and ally their street gang with them to conquer London. It kind of made me feel like I was in Grand Theft Auto when I was watching the gameplay here because we're jumping not only from borough to borough, but we're getting there by stealing vehicles. So how does that work now? Well, vehicles is one of the great innovations that we have in store for our players in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Those vehicles will refresh the experience. They bring a lot of chaos and a lot of fun, and it makes the game totally unpredictable, both for us but for our players. And I think it will be a lot of fun for them to steal those carriages, ram them into other carriages, see enemies jump from cart to cart as they try to pull you out of the driver's seat. And it's going to be very interesting to see what players do with that. Let's go. Come on. Because we're getting to use vehicles now, does this mean we are no longer going to be fast traveling? Oh, I, I, one of the things that we are seeing in our playtest right now is that player experience the game differently. So instead of doing fast travel, which is still there in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, players just up on a vehicle and let themselves be immersed in the experience. And it's fun to see players do that because they consume the experience in a completely different way and they seem to have a lot more fun doing it this way. How will the police now affect our gameplay? Is it going to be a little bit like Grand Theft Auto where we're going to see stars flashing? How do we get away from them? It's very natural. So for the player, if he hijacks a car and there's a police nearby, the police will chase. It's very natural for the player. It's, there's no such a star system or anything like that. The player knows very quickly he needs to escape. And we have our own system of evading enemies. One of the things I enjoy of Assassin's Creed and just these big open games in general are the side quests. But this game has side quests that seem to relate to the main quest entirely. Yes, that's one of the other things that we are trying to do to modernize the experience for our players. So every activity that you do in the world will relate to this quest of our protagonist and of the player, which is to conquer London. So the different slums that you need to conquer, the gang wars that you need to win, it's just a glimpse of these that we'll reveal throughout the summer and that the player will be able to engage in to dominate the city. There is a lot of pressure with you guys as well, just relating to everything to do with history with the Assassin's Creed franchise. So how on point are you guys with London in the 18th century? History is our playground, right? And so the one thing that we do is that we take a lot of care in making sure that we reproduce London in 1868, as well with famous characters, just to name famous Charles Darwin, for example, or Charles Dickens. We work with the experts, historian experts, since day one and all the way to the end.